Hi, and welcome, jeez, fuck, man, welcome back to chilling the hell out. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chill the fuck out. We're gonna be right here, relaxing. Oh, God. And no worries. You know how we're gonna do that, because I'm gonna ramble on about stupid shit. Really, I'm just providing white noise. Oh, I guess technically because I'm mixed. Somewhat brown noise-ish. Spicy noise. Illegal? No. Um. Uh, no. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna talk about random stuff and do set this off to the side, you know. Just leave your pods in and let, uh, my ridiculousness reverberate inside your mind and yeah zone out for a while hell if you feel like it go ahead and disassociate (laughs) or fall right asleep because all you're focusing on is absolute nonsense and not the outside world that's what this is for i am gonna talk about a very specific thing and within that specific thing a specific sub um Subsubject? I don't know. It's about a video game and a specific one. One of the things I can talk about for ever, for hours. <laughs> so get comfy, because I'm going to start on this crazy train here. Okay? All right. So. Oh, and I'm not going to, like, explain any of it either. It's just going to be essentially techno jargon mumbo jumbo shit like if i was talking about adjusting an alternator or if i need to um if i need to crush tighten this thing or if it has a specific uh torque vector that i need to hit and not go over basically it'll sound like that so if that helps you you're in luck <laughs> so this burr glass weapon right the Warframe, it's a Sentinel, Sentinel weapon. Holy, holy unimpressive for the most part, right? Holy unimpressive. Uh, except that somebody found out that uh, if you put fire damage onto it, being that it's the one thing that perfectly, infinitely scales, and by perfectly I mean whenever the uh, the dot starts to run out, you reset all the timers for all the separate instances, which is perfect. (laughs) Unlike uh, Toxicity, where each and every individual proc has its own separate timer. And if you add more toxin, well, you're not really revamping all of them. So a proper infinite scaling, you can have hundreds of thousands of instances of fire damage. It's great. And, you know, people didn't think much of this for glass because, well, for the longest time, there weren't any really good uh, companion mods, you know, to really upgrade them and boost them at all whatsoever. Until one day, until one day, (laughs) they decided to add better companion mods. And, oh my goodness, there were loads, loads of much better companion mods one of them being a contagious bond so if your companion whatever it is a little floating sentinel beside you a robot hound uh an infested uh cat or well i mean i guess it's kind of the size of a panther but anyway or hound um or just straight up dog or very large cat whatever it is whatever pet you know, or like the mechanical uh, ostriches. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nobody uses those because they haven't made them good yet. Um, what that does is it allows your pet to spread <laughs> status effects. And that's super, super good. That's very, very good. Because you want to spread status effects. It's essentially a hack and slash game. There's motherfuckers everywhere in mass trying to kill you 
right? So, being the fire is the best for that, provided you can get a shitload of procs, because fire alone won't kill everybody, unless you have something fully automatic, with a lot of multi-shot, or incredibly good status chance. So, what it does is, after the companion gets a kill, right, uh, it will have the total amount of uh, status instances that you have. So if you have 200, it will have that to 100 and spread that within a 9 meter radius. <laughs> Effectively, instantly putting a shitload of procs on everybody around a 9 meter radius. And it doesn't seem like that much, but this is in meters, not feet. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's like... In every meter, there's like three feet or something like that. I think that's how it was. I don't know. I need to go back to school. <laughs> there, uh, it's, it's quite effective. <laughs> and the reason that that is so effective <laughs> is because if you have viral, which also heavily debuffs the enemy, they take 300% more damage. <laughs> and you also manage to put corrosive on them, which you know, strips their armor away, mostly. Unless you have something else that does it fully. Uh, you just cause a cascading catalyst effect of death. <laughs> so basically the way it works is uh, you can either allow your pet to just solo kill somebody. It'll take a minute, but after they do that, Say they got up to 400, 500 stacks, right? So that's two to two and a half. Two and a half hundred, nobody really says that. Two to 250 uh, on everybody within a nine meter radius. <laughs> right, and they're already taking a lot of damage. And those procs decay slowly. So while everybody else's procs are slowly decaying barely, um, your, your pet will go and start attacking somebody else, starting at 250. So say they get another 250 on that, right? And then all the other people are like, maybe at 200 they lost, maybe 50 stacks. Well, if you get 500 again, you're dumping another 250 on top of that. <laughs> so they have 450. Everybody else who's left has 450. And it just exponentially grows from there. So after about two kills, you're essentially instant killing somebody. But the best part of this is that as long as it is initially from your pet's damage, it will continue to happen. So it doesn't have to be a direct kill. It can be from the status effect themselves. I think you know where this is going. <laughs> And then whichever ones start to die from having almost a thousand instances of fire damage, as soon as they die from that dot, they will pass on all the rest of their dots halved to everybody else. And it will happen faster and faster. And then the entire room is dead. Now as long as some now as long as you have enemies throughout potentially the entire map, right, that are at least within nine meters of each other, which does happen pretty often, you can not only clear the room, but potentially, if you have a shitload of enemy density, I'm talking about, like, survival uh, levels. That's a mission type. Uh, and you got people trickling in from everywhere. You got them all in front of you, like, say, the staircase. And there's a couple of them uh, on the lower level. And they're all trying to run in single file. And then you have some people coming from, like, across the map. But they're at least within, typically, about five or six feet of each other. And we're talking nine meters. Which meters are far larger than feet. Uh, you're just gonna just cascade kill the entire fucking map. <laughs> now, you will have to restart this process once everybody is dead. But... The main thing out of this is that you don't have to fucking do anything. But if you like to have the most capability and utility out of everything that you're using, well, you know I figured something out. <laughs> 
You see, all of my weapons do a hell of a lot of damage, and, uh, two of them specifically do a shitload of different status effects. One of them can do potentially all of them in the game. <laughs> so, if I hose somebody down with bullets until they're just about dead, and then let, you know, my cute little death cube, that's his actual name, spelled without the A, uh finish off their, like, fucking two health that they have left. <laughs> Technically, that's his kill, because he directly killed it. So, because it is, it passes on the corrosive, the viral, all the heat, the fucking, uh, I think, slash, the puncture, the impact, and whatever else that happened to fucking randomly proc on it, so it could be gas, electricity, radiation, uh magnetic, whatever, is going to everybody else. And I found out that just doing that, because of the corrosive prox, which strips armor, guarantees that everybody fucking dies that's around you. So you hose somebody down with something that can proc a lot of status effects down to about half health, because the statuses you put on will also do damage. Your little verglass wielding buddy will annihilate everyone. It will be a wave of destruction. <laughs> I mean, is it unnecessary? Because I already have, like, three incredibly powerful weapons, all of which are capable of some type of AoE or another, and then also having a Warframe that literally has a nuke set up on it, and in another configuration, heavy single-target boss damage-dealing capabilities, right? <laughs> Is it necessary? Absolutely not. But do I enjoy seeing my little fucking floating tie box Tim beat the absolute shit fuck out of everything around? Well, that's... that's a yes. I, I really enjoy that. <laughs> and it has a hell of a lot more range than the, uh, the micro-missile barrage, which I, I do love missile barrages. I, I love helicopters myself, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I also love uh, the rocket barrages that they're capable of doing. It's it's very awesome. Oh, it's so badass. But uh, even though it's unnecessary, it's a hell of a lot of fun to see and could actually potentially uh, pull you out of a very sticky situation uh, because at a certain point, you get to such a high level of enemies that they can effectively one-shot your shields, your health, and basically anything and everything. So if you get cornered and you don't have a lot of rounds left in your mag, uh, but you have just enough to, like, coat somebody, prime them is what it's called in there. You know, you're priming them for destruction. Uh, and while you're reloading, Tiny Box Tim fucking comes out and just, just lays waste to every, like, all 30 or 40 of the enemies that have put you in a corner while you're reloading no shields, you're about to get one shot fucking downed, and then he just clutches up like that, I mean, you can never be too prepared, honestly, you, you can never be too prepared, so, in a situation like that, he's literally a, a table turner, all right, not Timmy Turner, although, he has Tiny Box Tim, Tiny Box Timmy Turner, Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome, yeah, it is still very useful, despite the fact that, you know, folks, folks who are playing Steel Path and, like, are at my level, uh, are basically just humiliating and degrading the enemies at this point. We're, we're bullying the enemies, all of them, <laughs> although there are people with much crazier builds than I have that uh, can one-shot all the way up to level cap enemies, which is level 10,000. Um... And at that point, if you're one-shotting every single thing without any effort, to me, it's just not fun anymore. I know that there are people who enjoy just squashing everything with very little effort, but for me, I like to be challenged, stimulated. You know, I like it to feel like a well-earned fight, something that was worth achieving. I enjoy that shit. So that's why I don't run cheese builds. Cheese builds are no fun for me. They're no fun for me at all. Although I will say, uh, 
if I were to try some, they would, I mean, they, it would be fun for a few minutes to just, like, drop into a room and be like, <laughs> and then everybody's fucking dead. And then you just run around collecting the loot. I mean, sure, that would be fun for a little bit for me, you know, but I, I would prefer it to be, like, on a toggle switch, you know, or I could just be like, hey, fuck you, everybody around you, and that general direction. Fuck that direction, because you're in it. And you just delete that direction. Uh, and it was on, like, some large uh, cooldown timer. I'd be okay with that. Because it would, you know, it would come in handy. Kind of kind of like a, an ultimate ability. I think that would be fun. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah. Doing, doing stuff like that for your entire playthrough, like, Everything that you do, that's just not fun. Come on, where's 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 the combat loop? Where's where are the mechanics at at that point? You're removing all, like all necessity for any mechanics. You just over nine thousand, and that's it. There's there's no uniqueness to the gameplay. You are just a thing. Just basically taking uh, a dry eraser or two. A blackboard at that point. Yeah, I I don't like uh, erasing chalk from boards. You know, I like having to think about how I'm gonna kill the enemy. I I I enjoy target prioritization. I enjoy making the enemy fumble and you know doing all these different stuff and seeing what I can do with all of this. You know, with the actual in-game mechanics and seeing how far I can take those things. You know. See how far I can take them. It's it's just a lot more fun for me. It's just a lot more fun. Although whenever you're farming, grinding specifically, yeah, no, I I want to get the grinding part out of the fucking way as soon as possible. So, <laughs> yeah, I've been nuking the shit out of fucking everything if I'm trying to just like dig through the RNG to get something. Because sometimes, look, the grind is a lot better in that game than it. it was to begin with the beginning grind was just dog shit Ugh. nowadays it actually it could be an enjoyable experience like you actually feel like you're putting in the time to get something that's worth that time a lot more often than when the game first came out like 10 years ago yeah can you believe that the game's fucking the game is 10 years old and looks like brand fucking new feels like brand new and they're fixing shit constantly since uh, leadership changed, I think, two years ago. Two or three years ago, something like that. It might have been four. But, yeah, it was, it was a desperate need. Uh, so we've, we've yeah, yeah. They, they finally put uh, some smarter people in there who actually enjoy gaming. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Oh, yeah. Obviously, no... Uh, no online game service is perfect, but it's a lot better than the shit that we're getting force fed nowadays. And I appreciate that. Also, the game is free. I do not recommend downloading it through the phone. <laughs> don't don't do that. If you got a hell, I mean, even if you got a fucking laptop, that would be better than trying to play this incredibly fast paced hack and slash. Shoot 'em up, fucking shit is everywhere on the screen all the time. Type games, yeah, I, don't, <laughs> no, just, just, you know, like dust off your old fucking Xbox One, or like your your PS4, you know, or like I said, your laptop. It's, yeah, mm -mm. I mean, you can try the Switch, but I think it would feel weird, you know. It'd, it'd probably feel weird. It'd probably feel really weird. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that is enough rambling for now. Hopefully, I've allowed you to get out of your own head or to go into it into a nice, quieter place away from all the noise of busy life responsibility bullshit. Or, in the best case scenario, uh, I've allowed you to fall asleep.
within the first five minutes of this bullshit. <laughs> It'll be another good day. And I hope that tomorrow is better. <laughs>